people blame, blame rape victims for being raped. People blame poor people for being poor. It's a tactic. Um, it's a tactic. Uh, some of it's deliberate, some of it's just instinctive. People do it. Uh, basically, it means that you don't have to do anything about it. If you put uh, rape, the victims of rape, down to the wrong clothes, the wrong time, they shouldn't have been out at that time, it means that, well, it's their fault. This. People who turn up here, oh, it's their fault. They shouldn't have done it. If you acknowledge that there are systems that cause this to happen, it means that people will put pressure on a government or some authority to do something about it. We discovered last Labour government with the Shore Start Centres that you could transform lives by intervention early on. By taking mothers and children into Shore Start centres, you could absolutely transform the lives of those people going on by giving a small amount of help and support early on. It saved, if nothing else, it saved a lot of money. Um, but you have to put the money in the right place. Stopping people trafficking would not just mean stopping the people traffickers, which they are highly organised, very dangerous criminals. It would mean putting up systems so that refugees, asylum seekers could be dealt with and appropriately sorted out. We're going to have to do it. This is only the beginning. As climate change bites, we're going to get them coming. And I've said this for 20 years. They might be coming in, but little rubber dinghies now half drowned. But trust me, in 15, 20 years, when the equatorial belt is not livable by humans, they'll be coming in gunships. Um, you won't like that. Deal with it now. Learn to process them, deal with it now, find appropriate places for these people, deal with them kindly and deal with them humanely. Because long term, that will be the, the cheaper, the more sensible option. It's just that it involves spending money now.